This is the second assembly video for the grade 8 playground design project. In the previous video, we constrained the main platform, the triangular platform, and the climbing wall. In this video, we're going to insert the monkey bar assembly. So we're going to go to Insert Other Documents, clicking on My Shape, or On Shape, going to your playground design folder, and looking for that monkey bar. We're going to click on our assemblies because that's where we saved our sub assembly. We're going to click on that and bring it in. Green check mark for finished. Again, we're going to use that fasten mate. And what I'm going to want to do is fasten this outer corner right here to the outer corner face of the monkey bar assembly. There we go. And I'm going to orientate myself again. And what you're going to see is, even though I'm joining the corners, I'm going to offset this so I can uh, lock it in on that plane. So I'm going to come over here to my fastened um, mate. And I'm going to offset on the x-axis. We can see the x-axis right there. And I'm going to type in 18. Now looking at it, my part itself uh, isn't in the right orientation. So I'm going to rotate it one more time. And we should be able to see, and then I will solve my problem. Now, I accidentally offset in the wrong direction, so I'm going to double click on this fasten mate here. And I'm going to offset a negative 18 inches on the x axis, which will move my assembly over. Again, depending on the corner that you choose, it might be a positive or a negative 18 inch offset. And what that means is I'm fastening it at 18 inches from that corner to that corner. The next thing I'm going to do is come back up to insert, go to other documents, go to my on shape. Go to the playground design and I'm going to bring in that tunnel slide. I'm going to import that part here and then I'm going to close out my menu. Again, I'm going to grab that fastened mate. This time I'm going to grab that bottom right corner of that face right there and fasten that point to the bottom corner of this face of the platform. Now I'm going to grab some orientation so I can see. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to revolve my part and then flip it on its axis. There we go. I revolved one, uh, one too many sets. And there we go. And again, we're going to go to offset, and we're going to offset it 18 inches on the X. Again, I should have done it as a negative X with my part rotation, so I'm going to double click on that constraint, uh, put in my negative 18 X on, and we now have our uh, tunnel slide centered. In the next video, I'll show you how to do the spiral slide and begin the safety uh, cramps.